Hello students, my name is Professor Tapeworm and I'm here to talk to you about tapeworms. Cystoda is the name given, given to a class of parasitic flatworms call, commonly called tapeworms of the phylum platyfilamentus. Well, okay, um, yeah, we're gonna have to cut you there and yeah, you're fired. So yeah, you've been replaced by this guy. Even he's wearing, sh yeah, um, he's wearing shades even though it's very dark outside. Yeah, so, some. your problem? Your problem? No, no, not, not really. Alright, so let's talk about the body structure of a tapeworm. If you don't know already by now, it's obviously got a head, body, and obviously a tail, dur. But since I don't know that much about it, let's just look at this Google picture that I found. So as you can see, the tapeworm actually does a head, and the head actually latches onto the, bon uh, the host's intestines, preventing it from being pulled down with the uh, intestinal fluid and whatever the host was eating. Um, its body has male and female reproductive organs built in, so that if it was actually coming to harm, such as if it was ripped apart, it would be able to release eggs and they would be fertilized, and which would lead to other tapeworms in your body, or, well, whatever the host's body. Um, it can also be very, very large. Um, tapeworms are actually known for being very, very large in length. Um, so yeah. So what do we really know about tapeworms? So, is this a tapeworm? No. This guy. Is this another tapeworm? No. Oh. Working with a bunch of doofuses. So we're lucky to have Professor Oak here for an interview about tapeworms. Let's continue with it. Hello there, Professor Oak. How do you feel about tapeworms? Oh, I hate tapeworms. You know, back in high school, he used to bully me a lot. I remember this one time. Well, that was a useless interview. Let's just get back and talk about habitat, digestion, and diet. And I bet you know where. Wikipedia. What? It doesn't make any sense. According to Wikipedia, tapeworms live in outer space. But, you know, Wikipedia hasn't let me down since my previous two bio projects. They were a complete masterpiece. Take a look. Well, since Wikipedia was a letdown, let's just hit the books. It says here, tapeworms, which live in within the intestines of their host do not have a digestive tract at all. They have hooks and or suckers with which they latch onto intestinal wall of hosts. From this position, they can simply absorb the food that passes by, food that has already been digested, and broken down in the host's digestive system. According to a reliable source, Yeah. Oh, come on! According to an actual reliable source, our notes, it says that tapeworms use diffusion to get oxygen through of their cells. Since tapeworms are really small, oxygen can get uh, through their cells really easily, from cell to cell. Let's talk about another hot topic in tapeworms, excretion. Now, tapeworms use diffusion to get CO2 and metab metabolic wastes out of their system through their body walls. So, uh, next we have to cover reproduction. I'm not doing it, you're doing it. Uh, no, you're doing it.
Uh, no, you're doing it. No, I'm pretty sure you're doing it. Fine, I will be the mature one here. So, anyway, let's continue with this. Um, tapeworms are mostly hermaphrodites. They lay eggs um, when they have sex with each other or with one themselves. And when they lay eggs, they lay eggs in the host's digestive system, which ends up being in their poop. So now that you know more about tapeworms than you ever wanted to know about tapeworms, you should know that they are parasites and they do cause harm to the host. But haven't you always wanted to have tapeworms in your body? Buy my new product, Parasites in a Bottle. They help you decrease your weight. <laughs> Don't believe me? You're, you're some arm satisfied customers about Parasites in a Bottle. I don't know. I'm very dissatisfied. Don't listen to this guy. Listen to this guy. I'm satisfied. So order yours today at www. Don't order this product at all. Dot org.